I think that uh, European integration for a long time was perceived as a free ticket to a better life. Uh, but uh, right now, as a young person, I'm not so much devastated because we didn't get the date for the negotiations. I'm devastated because uh, the reforms that were promised are not being implemented. Maybe more jobs, more projects, more, uh, more money for young people, because uh, projects, they cannot do it for free. They need to, uh, to, to make, uh, them, to make a, a field for them together so they can do something for the country. Our politicians to give people who are not part of their political parties a reason to stay in our country, especially us. Young people have right now very little to hang on to. And most importantly, what I see as a top priority is to enforce integrations within our country. And then we can maybe talk about integrating uh, on another level. Transparency, control and sanctions. I think that uh, our politicians must be more uh, transparency in their uh, give transparency in their work, and uh, so we can control uh, control them. And also, I think that uh, we need uh, some kind of mechanism to avoid and to punish the uh, fake obligations, fake uh, statements uh, that political pol uh, politicians give in uh, election periods when the ecology is their favorite topic. And after that, we, we don't see anything. Uh, my expectations about the Albanian politicians are that uh, to find the agreement together and to restore faith on people, because uh, people have uh, uh, lost uh, faith, and uh, this can only be restored by uh, bringing a new spirit. And uh, they should uh, give the opportunity to young people and to demonst demonstrate that uh, uh, we can do things better and uh, we can work against the corrupt corruption and uh, uh, corrupted authorities. From my perspective, no matter how well we are doing on the paper when it comes to EU integrations or uh, other aspects of integrating within the international community, it all means nothing if there are no uh, young people willing to live in that country tomorrow. So what I see uh, as a good role model uh, for our politicians would be to um, actually show by example, not just tell and proclaim, that it is possible to make a living uh, in this country without being being uh, attached to someone politically or by family ties or by any kind of friendship or uh, uh, any kind of corruption being involved. I think the country should invest and deal more with science and culture and less in political affairs and uh, scandals. Also, I would like to say that the economic uh, progress and growth should be uh, available and present in all parts of Serbia, not to be centralized. And the last thing, uh, I want to say that uh, the nepotism should be stopped. It's killing the country. It's very important to be uh, concentrated on the future, not on the past. But we don't need to, uh, of course, we should not forget what it happened years ago. But for us young people, it's very important to cooperate with each other. And for example, uh, I want also from our politicians and also from the Serbian uh, uh, politicians that, uh, that they should uh, recognize Kosovo and uh, we should um, have the chance more to cooperate with, with each other like we have, for example, the opportunity to um, cooperate with young people from Serbia in Balkan Booster. First of all, I would like our politicians to start working in the interest of public, not in the, their own interest. And when they start doing that, I think things will get um, uh, will be formed like a, like a small puzzle. And I'm really looking forward to, to opening the chapters of, of the um, European Union. Uh, uh, to, uh, because if you, if you want to enter the European Union, we have to solve corruption, we have to solve environment, we have to solve uh, infrastructure problems. And I'm really looking forward to that because it means I can live uh, more freely and not think about uh, small problems that we have, but think about uh, improving my country in other ways.